In this video, I'm going to show you how to make adding fractions really easy. Now, if you're a little afraid of fractions and looking at questions like this makes you think, oh my God, these look terrible, then don't worry because at the end of this video, you'll be able to answer any of these questions in a very straightforward, simple way. So let's begin. So let's have a look at number one first. Now, number one is a very straightforward question because what we notice here is the denominators are the same. I've got three over eight, plus two over eight. Remember the denominator is the number on the bottom. Now, whenever we have the same denominator, adding fractions is really simple. We simply write down that denominator and we add the two numbers on the top, the numerators together. So we get three plus two equals five and our answer is simply five over eight. So whenever you have the same denominator, simply write that denominator down and add the two numbers on the top together and that's your answer. So why does this work? Why does it make sense that we can simply add the two numbers on the top together? Well, if we think in terms of pizza, I like to think in terms of pizza for fractions, it's easy to visualize what's going on. So if we think in terms of pizza for uh, the first fraction, let's see what we have there. Three over eight. The eight tells me that the whole pizza has been split into eight pieces. And the three tells me how many of those pieces I have. So I actually have three over eight. So I have three eighths of the pizza there. Now I'm adding to that two eighths. So I have two pieces out of eight there. When I add them together, I get five pieces of five out of eight. So not surprisingly, three eighths plus two eighths equals five eighths. So hopefully by thinking about pizza, we visualize what's going on, we see that it actually does make sense. Because when we have the same denominator, those pieces are the same size. So we can simply add them together. Okay. Now let's have a look what happens when the denominators are not the same. So in this case, I've got one half plus one over four. And we can see those denominators are different. One of them is two, the other one is four. Now, if we're thinking in terms of pizza, we can probably already guess what the answer is here because half a pizza plus a quarter of a pizza is simply gonna give me three quarters of a pizza. Now the key is whenever we have different denominators and we're trying to add fractions together, we're going to find a lowest common denominator, or an LCD. Now, what is a lowest common denominator? That's a number that both of those denominators will divide into exactly. So I'm looking for a number that two divides into and four divides into. So I'm thinking, okay, what's the lowest number I can think of that works? Now, four is the lowest number that works because two divides into four twice and four divides into four once. So that's my LCD. So what I want to do now is I want to rewrite both of these fractions to be something over four. Now the one over four is already there. We already have one over four. So now I'm gonna focus on the one half. I want to convert that into a fraction that has something over four, so an equivalent fraction. Now, the way I can do that is I can draw my arrow and show my four on the bottom there, and then think, what did I need to multiply the two by in order to get it to become four? And of course the answer is two. So I'm gonna show my times by two on the bottom there. Now, if I multiply in the denominator by two and I want to get an equivalent fraction, I have to multiply the numerator by that same number. So I'm multiplying the top by two as well. That gives me one times two, which is two. So my equivalent fraction is two over four. So what I'm saying there is two over four is exactly the same fraction as one half. And again, if we look at our piece of pizza down there, that one half, if I slice that down the center, I've got two quarters. So it makes sense that two quarters is exactly the same as one half. Okay, so now we've got our two fractions to be something over four, two over four plus one over four. So I'm gonna show those right there. Two over four plus one over four. Now we have the same denominators, so we can simply add them just like we did before and get three over four. Okay, so the key there is to find the lowest common denominator and to rewrite each fraction in terms of that lowest common denominator. Let's have a look at another example. So in this case, we have two over five plus three over seven, and we're looking for a lowest common denominator. Now, if you're stuck, if you're thinking, you know, I don't know what number five goes into or what number seven goes into, then here's a trick that will allow you to always get to a common denominator. Simply multiply the five and the seven together. So if you're stuck, you can multiply both denominators together to get a common denominator. 
So in this case, five times seven gives me 35, so that's my common denominator. So I now draw my arrows away from my fraction and write by 35 underneath as my new denominator. And then I'm thinking, okay, what? Did, let's start with the two fifths first. What did I do to the five in order to get it to become 35? I multiplied it by seven. So I'm showing that right there. Now, if I'm multiplying the five by seven, I have to multiply the two by seven. So that's going to get me 14 over 35. So 14 over 35 is exactly the same thing as two over five. Now let's do the same thing with the three sevenths. So looking at my three sevenths then and thinking, okay, what did I need to do to the seven to get it to 35? I need to multiply by five. And if I'm multiplying the bottom by five, I have to multiply the top of the fraction by five. So three times five gives me 15. So 15 over 35 is exactly the same thing as three over seven. So now this question looks like this, 14 over 35 plus 15 over 35. Now I've got the same denominators. It's very simple. I've simply write that denominator down and add the two numerators together. 14 plus 15 gives me 29. My answer is 29 over 35. Okay, so just to recap that, if you're stuck when you're trying to find your lowest common denominator and you're thinking, I don't know what these two numbers divide into, simply multiply them together and that will give you a common denominator.